been a while since I played this. Let's see how badly I'll uh, muck up all the <laughs> beginner level stuff. I remember what attack means. <laughs> what attack means? Of course I remember what attack means. I might not be messing up the uh, language. I may not be messing up the gameplay yet, but I am definitely messing up the language. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the free kill. Oh! Man, I am good for someone who's not played this probably it's like a couple years. I think there's a charm over this way. Hello. Bit egotistical. But okay. Yeah, here we go. I remember how to do charms. Thank you for the reminder though, game. Still think that's a little egotistical. Last and only kingdom? Please. The fact that Silk Song exists proves you. Proves otherwise, you okay. Get your head out of your ego. Hey, Dirt Mouth, yeah. it's been a while. Hello to you, Elderbug. It has also been a while. Madame I remember Lula. you. Yes, oh, there, Traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep a consistent voice for that. Oh, uh, oh, excuse me. Many years to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Alonest, it was what's called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. No, it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Akala, M. Tono. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. You're right about that, Mark. You're right about that. Turn off just that since I don't have any others, I'll put it on for now. I don't anticipate too much uh, difficulty here. Although that may be uh, the wrong way to think about things. Just because this isn't Rain World doesn't mean it isn't difficult in its own way. In fact, this is the original difficult game with a pale black-eyed playable character creature. 
that I played. Almost ran into that guy. I didn't see him. Oh! Here's the grandfather. Right. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get your kids back soon. back to me at this point. When in doubt, Pogo. Oh! I landed right next to a false wall. Cool. Ah! This is somewhere I'm gonna need both the dash and the wall jump. Both are fairly early game areas, so it shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the mantis lords oh, down in the wastes are uh, feeling someone walking over their grave right now and shaking their spears at him. Hmm? Ah, who is it? Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. A fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Sure. Can't go wrong with a map. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass for my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. <laughs> I bet you go wandering around without taking her with you? I don't know about her, but I would get bored as hell if I had to just do like, store things for my entire life. Didn't see that guy. Hello, grub. I don't think I can reach you without at least a dash, right? Yeah. I need to come back later. Sorry, buddy. I'll come back for you in a bit. Come on down here. There we go. Time to jump there. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm too used to Rain World already. I keep trying to, like, wall jump. Like, cling to the corners of stuff. It's not working out. It really isn't. Black Egg Temple is supposed to be somewhere on the upper levels of the crossroad, I think, right? It's supposed to be really well. Hello. Don't mind me. I know there's a grub behind you. I am here to requisition that grub suit. Thank you and goodbye. You're free! So not the way. It's probably this way then. Man, my WASD keys have seen some wear and tear. I keep faltering. Jank, great. Here we go. This is the place. Hello, Quarrel. Bama to Juro. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. Thank you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. 
A great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all, all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie deeper below us. Probably horrors as well as wonders. Goa, Nudo Ilamak. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> For so long I've felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors, no longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. At what time I chose to arrive, this dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles, the air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Very angry ah, me no To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Well, that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. I've never actually read that particular line of dialogue. Quirrell promotes learning dead bodies, everybody. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Ah! This time that jumped. Alright. Uh, yeah, made it all the way around here. Let's at least get the compass since I'm over here anyway. Hello, Azelda. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise! He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I'm not much interested in retail myself. Yeah, same. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Okay. There's the compass. There's the thing that lets you add to the map. I'll start with that. And then come back after I fought the first boss. To buy the uh, quill. Because the first boss is just in this area here. Shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> Animation for swinging the nail upwards is a little funky. I'm skipping. all over again, except, uh, it's the opposite side of the color wheel. <laughs> More gooey instead of pustuly. Look at me make new words. I should get a degree in that. Make a career out of it. Hello, good morning for a fire again. Don't mind me. I'm just going this way. I'll go to get those ones near the edge eventually. Although, well, there's nothing really to stop me from getting them on the right is there. Just need to run around a bit. There we go. Sweet, sweet girl. Not getting me that easily. Yeah. 
difficulty is my jump is I cannot. I cannot artificially double jump. Yet. I won't be able to artificially double jump, like, period, but I'll be able to, like. Hollow Knight double jump. Because this is not the game where you can blow up in the air to tell your stuff at your enemies. my god, if you could, though, that would be uh, both uh, funny and terrifying. <laughs> There's a mod idea for the people out there. Oh, night mod. Artificer double jump. Just blow up in midair. Big boom sound effect. got given a very weird look by my cat. <laughs> Add that so I at least know where I am. That'll still leave me enough to buy the quill. That bell just appeared out of nowhere. It's supposed to come out of the ground, but it's not supposed to come that fast, I think. I hear grub number two. Hello. Get back to your papa. Hello, sir. so I can presumably hit them a bit to refill on soul. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Game baits you into attacking those guys and you start walking this way and boom. Wow, I started without being able to get a single blow in. Nice. <laughs> ah! What are you doing, Purples? I'm kind of busy. In case you haven't noticed. Feel free to leave. Just don't try to hop from the chest while I'm gaping. It's not gonna work out well. I was trying to hit that thing. Ha! Ah. Okay. Yo, at least one. Remembering correctly, this is when the uh, bus opened the floor. Yep. There we go. Nice try, buddy. I, my tiny little murder child, you are not going to be able to beat me. I appreciate the attempt, but it happened. Hey, money. Money, 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 money. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did I always do that? Here we go. Oh, Hello, oh snail God. shaman. Oh, what is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. 
a strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hallow Ness's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A naft a na a nafty? A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho. Yes, give me the mojo. Give me the voodoo. I want the voodoo. We do got. Yeah, I distinctly remember that I am not great when it comes to using spells outside of a boss battle. So I am going to try to change that. Ow! Rude! I got full soul from that. Goodbye, sir. Oh, it ran over this way. Alright, come on. Get up on your kids. Thank you. I was watching over you while you slept and must have slipped away myself. I woke up and found you disappeared. You are a surprising one. Ho ho. Actually, I was to ask a small favor of you. You see, there is a certain creature lurking just above us in the heart of this temple. Ho ho. Well, yet another surprise. You've seen that creature before I've even asked. I scarcely deserve such a friend as you. You are a marvel. Thank you. I'm not doing the laugh again. Friend or not. And look, the gate between us has opened. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell, and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Alright. Menacing life advice given. Let's replace this guy. That guy. They really do not need Fury of the Fallen. And now I got the spell I need to get to Green Path. Let's get that Quill. No, actually, no. I think what I should do first is go and see if I can find the shopkeeper. Is he somewhere down here in this section? Right. Down this way instead of up this time. Yes, yeah, looks familiar. Granted, this whole game looks pretty much familiar, so like, that's not telling me much, but yep. Hello, Dress Mother. I have a spell this time. Because I think I remember fighting you without a spell. First. I should have seen that one. I should have seen that one. She is not subtle. She's also quite. I'm not. Thank you for the geo. Happy death day to you and happy uh, death day to your kids. Give me the geo. Oh, Tayo! Ugh, Aura, you oaf! You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh! Oh, what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm Slyth, 
That's the name. That's the name. Okay, I knew it was like a short name. I couldn't remember what it was. Usually, I live an uneventful life up in Dirt Mouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. You return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Sure, will do. Oh wait, doesn't he have a... another blur... he's left. <laughs> you leave the door, and he's like, and he's gone. Gotta admit, that's pretty impressive. That was a fail. There we go. Thank you. There we go. I'm back around. Since I lost her at the ring of a station bell, it echo down the stairways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much. The sound of the bell will always call me back. These stairways stretch the depths of Hallownest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Amisodo. Cool. Thank you. Your service is definitely appreciated. Imagine having backtrack. Backtrack? Backtrack. All the way back. From all the way across the world. Every time you want to visit a specific shop. <sighs> Bapanada. Alright. Let's get that. And then... Let's see how much... Ah, hello, I do eat it again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Patamas, Jill! Oh right, he sells these too. Yay, character upgrades. There's Swarm. Um... I think it'll still leave me with enough to get the bench pin. So let's start on upgrading our health. So. Cool. Hello, Elderbug. Odulan. Nahato. Oh, what a turn! Our shopkeeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales this time, though, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out! He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Akala, in tono. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. A building lay silent since before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines. A web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. 